Hello, movie friends. Welcome back to the show. Anthony here. James is out of town, so I'm going to be doing this episode of the news alone. My friend Luna, the puppy, might show up here and there, so keep an eye out for her. If you hear a little dog, that's her. Now let's get into the box office this weekend, and to no surprise at all, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever absolutely decimated the box office this weekend. It had a $28 million Thursday, which is third best so far behind Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness in Thor Love and Thunder. And then it back Black Panther topped out at $187 million for its domestic weekend. And it has, uh, I believe, about $370 million globally for its opening weekend. So a huge release for the MCU for Black Panther. It's trailing right behind Doctor Strange and Thor, so it looks like, when all said and done, it looks like it's going to make about $950 million on its run, which is super impressive. Black Adam came in second place with $9 million weekend, and it now has reached $300 million globally. Uh, it's a decent showing, but Black Panther is an example where it's going to make more money this weekend than Black Adam has in a month, so DC definitely wants to turn things around from that showcase uh, next up at number three, Ticket to Paradise with Julia Roberts and George Clooney is still performing very well with another $7 million. It's at over $100 million uh, domestically, so it's done very well. Lyle Lyle Crocodile came in third place with fourth place with $3 million, and then Smile came in fifth place with $2 million. Smile also broke $200 million globally for its total box office which is extremely impressive for a movie that cost $30 million to make. So a huge success for that film. Now let's get to the news. The first bit of news is sad. Kevin Conroy, the fa the voice of Batman, has passed away. Uh, we grew up with Conroy as Batman when we were kids in the 90s, whether it be the series or the animated movies. And I remember um, Mask of the Phantasm was like one of my favorite movies as a kid. And Kevin Conroy, also the voice of Batman in many of the video games. And uh, he touched many lives and was such an iconic voice to those who love the character and love those stories. And so it's a very sad day. Uh, Kevin Conroy, rest in peace. Uh, now let's get to the trailers. John Wick 4 has released its final trailer and it looks terrific. It looks as though the majority of the film is going to be set in Paris. And we have an incredible cast of martial arts acting legends. And it looks like some of them are even going to be going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It looks like a lot of fun. And speaking of John Wick news, uh, Anna de Armas' film Ballerina, which is a spinoff of John Wick, has begun filming. And John Wick himself, Keanu Reeves, has shown up for, to the filming set. He is going to appear in Ballerina. We're not sure how substantial his role will be, but he will definitely be in it. Uh, as well as Ian, Mc Ian McShane. Those two characters who are staples of the John Wick franchise showing up in Ballerina, I think will help feel like, oh, this is part of the same world. So having those two actors appear alongside Anna, Anna de Armas will make fans really excited for sure. Next up, we got the first trailer of Brendan Fraser and Aronofsky's collaboration, The Whale. It's just a teaser. We only get a, a few bits of footage and a few lines of dialogue, um, but it seems incredibly meditative, uh, very personal. Um, dark, but also heartwarming. And uh, Brendan Fraser, the cl the trailer ends with a clip of him um, speaking, I'm guessing, to his daughter. And it looks like he's turning in a really beautiful performance. And uh, at the moment, based upon the reactions to the the, the uh, film festival's premiere, uh, he is the front runner for Best Actor at the Academy Awards. So I can't wait to see this film. It comes out on December 9th in a limited release, and then it will be expanded. So keep an eye on it. Um, next month. Next up, Glass Onion, a Knives Out mystery, released its final trailer ahead of its release on the 23rd of December. And this peels back another layer of Benoit's mystery. And we get a more a better sense of what's going on where it looks like Edward Norton's character has brought everyone there um, because he knows he's going to be killed and he, also, and he wants them to figure out who it was. He wants Benoit Blanc to figure out who killed him. But to a surprise of everyone, someone else has killed before Edward Norton, so now they're trying to figure out a real tantalizing mystery, and it looks like a lot of fun, amazing cast. And um, Ryan Johnson, the director and writer of Knives Out, also said that he would love to make more movies. They're not sure where they're going to set the third film, which is already um, contracted with Netflix, um, 
but he said he would like to do more after that as well. And he'd also like to make a Knives Out board game, which I think fans would love. We would definitely buy that because we love board games. Next up, another major trailer, The Witcher Blood Origin trailer showcased the fantastic new world and thrilling battles with an amazing cast. Michelle Yeoh is headlining this series, and she looks like a fierce, incredible warrior and leader. Uh, she's a terrific actress. We all know that. So I'm happy for her getting a huge leading role in a giant Netflix show. And on top of that, I think we all know that Henry Cavill has left the original Witcher franchise, and Liam Hemsworth is will will be replacing him as Gerald of Rivera, uh, Riviera. And it seems as though I'm not really sure behind the scenes. Maybe Cavill wasn't happy with the direction the Witcher was going in. Maybe his this new management at Warner Brothers is giving him a lot more opportunity to play um, the Man of Steel, Superman, Cal L a lot more. Uh, I suppose it could be both of those things, but he is leaving the franchise, and Liam Hemsworth will be taking over the role of The Witcher in the fourth season on Netflix. Back to Keanu Reeves. Constantine 2 is in pre-production and will probably begin filming uh, middle of next year. Francis Lawrence, the director of Constantine, said in an interview that uh, Keanu Reeves, when he appeared on a talk show like, like six or seven months ago, and uh, the talk show host asked him about what role would you like to do if you could again, and he said, I'd like to do Constantine again. Uh, the fan reaction to that interview in the audience and also online really gave the studio confidence to greenlight the picture. And Lawrence said it probably, if, if it wasn't for that interview, so the studio and producers could see how excited people were for him returning, then the movie probably wouldn't have gotten greenlit. So little thing like that, just a simple question on an interview, and it sparked that interest. Maybe they even, maybe... Maybe Keanu and Lawrence planned that interview question to get people excited because they felt like there was the the fan fever was still there. Next up, Chris Rock is making history with his first live Netflix special. It will be premiering in early 2023. And I think we all know what he might talk about in this Netflix com com comedy special. So we're all looking forward to it. I think he's one of the goats of comedy. And anything he does, I'll watch. Next up, Gears of War has is set into production for both a feature film and animated series at Netflix. Netflix bought the rights to the property, and so they're trying to turn it into a big universe with their platform. And also on top of that, Dave Bautista, who is a huge fan of the franchise, made a video online basically pitching himself for the lead role of Marcus Phoenix as the Gears of War lead character. I think that he would be a perfect fit. He feels he even looks like the uh, Marcus in that game is insane. Uh, we played the first one, I remember, and really enjoyed it. So if they can get him and a great team behind it, like a great director and crew, then sign me up for that. Next up, Dwayne Johnson is shared has shared new Red One images. Uh, so Red One is a new action, globetrotting, adventure, comedy that he's filming with Chris Evans. And they're calling it like a Christmas universe. So it looks like they're trying to expand on uh, this Christmas actioner. And J.K. Simmons will be playing Santa Claus, and they show behind the scenes of J.K. and Santa Claus in his Santa Claus garb. So it looks like a lot of fun. Scream Six um, is said by Jenna Ortega to have so much action you'll be distracted, be distracted from Nev Campbell's absence. Uh, Samara Weaving is rounding out the cast with as a new character. I think she's going to be the the new lead of the film, and so they have a huge cast for this. So I, I she might be right where. Even though Nev isn't in it, which I think is kind of lame, it still has enough people in it to maybe be a whole thing on its own. I Want to Dance with Somebody, the new Whitney Houston biopic, released a trailer, and Naomi Aki is playing the the character of Whitney Houston, and she looks terrific. This final trailer really gives us a sense for the scope and scale of the movie. It's from the producers of uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, so I think they're going to do a great job. It's a Goosebumps spine tingling trailer, and it looks like it has a lot of heart as well. Uh, next up, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio dropped a new trailer with highlights of our encounter with Chimera. Guillermo's movie also just began release in theaters in LA, and a few it will be expanded into a few theaters around the, the country before it hits Netflix um, this month. So keep an eye out for it. I definitely want to try and check it out in theaters uh, this week if I can. Next up, Jonathan Majors and Glenn Powell's new pilot film, Devotion has dropped a new trailer. It looks epic and actually looks really good. Uh, this film is going to be coming out on in theaters on November 23rd, so book your tickets now. Next up, The Menu. Ray Fiennes, Anya Taylor-Joy, Nicholas Holt's new dark comedy 
has released a new featurette showing us more about this mad chef in this mysterious dinner that is taking place. I think this movie looks like a lot of fun, um, and I can't wait to see it. This film comes out on November 18th, so be sure to get tickets for that soon. Next up, Disney Plus has announced that it is in development of a Indiana Jones TV series. I don't believe Harrison Ford will be involved in this show. They probably are going to want to bring in new blood. I'm not sure if I would want to watch an Indiana Jones TV show. And I, I'm not sure if I would want to watch any, any Indiana Jones without Harrison Ford. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what they have good cooking. And next up, True Detective Night Country has begun production in Iceland. The star of this new series is going to be Jodie Foster, uh, who's, I think, one of the best actors ever. So I'm really excited to see the first footage and trailer from that show. And final bit of news, Monster, Ryan Murphy's anthology series, which started with Dahmer, has been renewed for two seasons, four from Netflix, because uh, it's become Dahmer was one of the biggest hits they've ever had, and it's closing in on a billion hours viewed. It's going to hit that billion-dollar mark at the end of this month they're projecting, which is really insane. It's one of the best premieres they've ever had on the platform. And no one knows what their seasons two and three will entail, which serial killers they'll cover in that. But I'm sure they'll be pretty famous ones because Dahmer was already very famous. So there's going to be more monster series to tell tales about. So Ryan Murphy is killing it like always with television. Hey, Luna wants to go. So that wraps up our movie news for today. Hope you had a great week so far. See you next time. Thank you for watching Raiders of the Lost Podcast. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button as well, notifications for sure. Listen to the show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, everywhere you can listen to podcasts. And be sure to check out this other content we have on our YouTube channel.